Hi there, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can make a cool paint splattered background with text in Photoshop. It looks something like this. So if you like it and want to know how to make it, just keep watching. What you want to do is open Photoshop, go to File, New, and create a new image. It doesn't matter what dimensions you use, I'm just going to be using 640 by 480 and click OK. Make sure your background color is set to white. Now get your brush tool and pick a color that you like. I'm just going to be using this light blue color here, and if you want to know the code for it, it's 97CAEE, -E, and click OK. Now what you want to do is get some paint splatter brushes. Now if you don't have any paint splatter brushes, I'm going to be providing a link in the description for the ones that I'm going to be using, so you just go ahead and download those. And just pick a brush that you want, and just paint your background with it, until you get a result that you like. And just go to Filter, Artistic, plastic wrap. You can just adjust the settings here on the side to whatever you like. I'm just going to be using highlight strength at 11, detail at 10, smoothness at 8, and click OK. Now what you want to do is get your text tool and set your text font color to white. And I think it works best with a thick font, so I'm just going to be using Reservoir Grunge if you don't have that one then I'm going to be writing a link in the description for that one and I'm using size at 40. So you can just go ahead and type whatever, te whatever, whatever text you want. And once you do that, double click on your text layer to bring up the blending options or you can just right click on your text layer and click blending options and click stroke and keep it at its default settings and click OK. Now what you want to do is right click on your text layer and click rasterize type. That will just make the background of it transparent. Now what you want to do is hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on your text layer. That will make a selection around your text. Now get your brush tool again, set your color back to the same color that you use for your background. In my case it will be the light blue color and click OK and use the same brush that you just used and just paint in your, back, paint in your text with it until you get a result that you like. Now click select and deselect. Now go to filter, artistic, plastic wrap. And just use the same settings if you want and click OK. Now what you want to do is double click on your text layer again or you can right click and click blending options. Click drop shadow, keep it at its default settings, inner shadow, default settings as well. Bevel and emboss. For style, use stroke emboss and click contour. And for contour, click the third one right here and click OK. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you liked it then please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.